Welcome back to Commercial Financing Experts Academy. My name is Sue Trung. Today I want to share with you a little bit about my current situation where I've been reached out by two different people that I know are very, I say very close to me in, in, in the past and perhaps in the future as well. Now, one of them reached out to me and asked me, so you know, I'm, I'm at my stage in my business where I want to grow my business, but I'm uncertain. I'm, I'm not sure where to go. I'm not sure what path I should take. And uh, I have reached a little certain level of success already. Uh, I'm not happy with it. I need to go to the next level, but I am stuck. And the person that is actually mentoring me, the person that mentored my business is actually leaving this industry. So that inspiration is now poof, gone. Uh, so I am self-sufficient and I'm able to go past my fears of public speaking and I enjoy public speaking, I enjoy standing in front of hundreds of people talking and I've achieved that level already. I'm in front of a stage, on stage with literally several hundred people. So that's not a challenge. The challenge is that I'm faced with this dilemma that I don't know how to go move to the next level, okay? And then on the other hand, I got other colleagues who, who uh, reached out to me and said, so why aren't you helping me uh, and promoting me and, and supporting me? Uh, I'm your friend. Hmm. I didn't know how to respond, really. Right? I, I looked at it and said, well, you know what? For myself personally, I've eaten a lot of humble pie over the years. And the highly successful people that I, I was, I'm grateful to be able to associate myself and hang around and be in, in their circle. I've learned a lot from them. And they are so humble. They're so, I would say, not egotistical. They're highly confident, but not egotistical, right? I look at both of that approach approach me. The, the one girl that have approached me, approached me on a level that, Sue, I respect you. I, I you know, uh, I see you do well. And I'm in a, I'm in this, little slump would you be kind enough to help me right so i was approached that by that person so it is way more incentive for me to go out of my ways and take time away from my busy schedule to say you know what yeah let's let's, let's go have a coffee and on the other hand you get somebody who says you know they didn't say in their, their own words but the way that they say it is this how it's come across to me and I'm sure other influencers and other people who are coaches and mentors too, they, they, they see the same way. It's like, the way that you say things is interpreted differently. You may not realize this, but the other person that approached me, right, said, I'm your friend. Why aren't you helping me? That's how I perceive it. So it's like, I deserve it. I expect you to help me because I'm your friend. Wow. You know, I, to me, it's like, I love helping people that, that are around me get better. I love helping them, pushing them up. I love being able to refer some business to them. But the fact that they're coming from, I would say, the wrong way, all right? I would say it's coming from expectation. It's coming from like a bratty child. Like, would you ever want to help a bratty child, all right? No, heck no. Doesn't matter how deserving that person, doesn't matter how close that child is to you or how much you love that child, right? They just do not deserve it, right? And that's how I felt. So I was reluctant even to even to reply, to even answer back. And the way that I answered back, I, I said, you know what? Uh, I, I value my mental well-being. And uh, it's, it's great that you're a friend and you consider me a friend, but that there are some good friends and some, some friends that help you, some friends that don't really help you. And I'm not, sure, I'm not sure where you fit right now, but I've tried in the past to help you, to pull you out, right? But you, you come from a different part of, of my past that, that, that I feel no matter how much I wanna help you, you are reluctant to change and, and, and you, you don't see the wrong. 
especially when somebody points it out to you, right? Because your ego is blocking you, blinding you from seeing that you need to make some slight adjustments to the way you talk, the way you think, the way you act, the way you behave, and the way you walk even, right? It's turning people off. Do you not realize that? Right? And the other person who's doing successful, who's doing well, you know, they come to me from a different approach and, and, from, and, and, and from a humble, humbleness, which she, you know, she deserves a, a, a little bit of, of, of a recognition. You know, she deserves to be, say, do you have the time to help me? But no, the, you know, she came from, from a different approach, from, from, from a, a kindness approach that, uh, you know, I understand, I respect, and that's what attracts a lot of people who are influencers, who are coaches, who are mentors. Successful business people, they have time for those people. They don't have time for people who have expectations. They don't, they don't, they don't have time for that bratty kid, per se, right? That wants and deserves everything that they feel they deserve it, right? Just because you're my, you're my, my brother doesn't mean that I have to help you. I'm obligated to help you, right? You're my brother of a heart, you know, of, of blood. But it, it, if you're a, a bad person, I don't care if you're my brother. I'm not going to help you, right? Uh, if, and if you're just a distant friend, a distant cousin, and you're a good heart person and you, and, and you need help, I'll help you. That's, that's the way that I am. Uh, that's the way that I know that successful people around me have done. And, and they have done the same thing to help me out because I come from a humbleness. Uh, I, I, I don't come from a place of ego. And that goes a long ways. Um, realizing it is tough, especially when you are in it and it's muddy. The world around you is muddy. Your vision is muddy. Your ears are full of mud. Your mouth, your nose is full of mud. And you don't realize that's mud. Right? It's like a fish doesn't realize it's in water. It's pooping in it, it's pissing in it, and it's living and breathing in, in, in the same piss and poop that it's, it's living in. It doesn't understand that. It doesn't realize that. Right? So what I'm trying to get to in this video is that if you need other people's help, you need to come from a, a place of, of, of humbleness, of kindness, and respect of utter, uh, you know, I don't know what it is, uh, humility. You cannot come from a place of expectations. Right? That will never get you anywhere. All right? As much as I love you and I care about you, if you're going to be like that, it's like, why should I help you become a, a worse person than you already are? Because right? when you become more successful, you can be more cocky, you can be more egotistical, and you can treat people even worse. Why should I be a part of that? Right? I don't want to be part of that. Your success it means that you make you a worse person than you, you currently are right now. So, no, sorry. What can I say? I'm busy helping this other person who's, who's humble, who's come from a humble beginning, has reached a level of success, and still humble and wants to do better. All right? I'll help this person any day. All right? So I hope you, this is a great takeaway from you. And if you're the person I'm talking about that's on this side, learn something from him and make some change. And I definitely will take you on and help you out. See you next video.